Hey guys, a couple years ago I bought what looked to be a really interesting antenna system. It was the JPC-12 and uh, I took it out on the beach on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Had a little bit of issue with it and it just didn't perform. I had some problems with it. I corrected that problem and, uh, and, and found out that the problem itself was this piece right here. It's got a short somewhere in here and I haven't taken it apart. I just kind of stashed it away. What I did when I corrected it was just clip the uh, counterpoise wires on the outer side of the uh, coax connection here and did that. So I just kind of stashed the thing away. Well, recently I came, I was looking across AliExpress and it said uh, JPC 12 um, upgrade replacement uh, part. And I, I said, you know what? I've got everything else. Let me get this. And you know, M10, very similar. I mean, shorter, but uh, hey, it's gonna work. It's a feed point, basically. Um, so I said, you know what? I'll buy that and put it with my kit. Other thing I really was interested in was, you know, on the old one, and I still have it, is the uh, the wires, the counterpoise systems, that, the system wire or whatever, uh, which, look, it's a mess. You can see it now, and I've used it a couple times. That's it. So I was like, you know what? I improved it before with counterpoise wires, so I saw a part and uh, on Chelligan's, and it's this little disc here, and on it you could take with, and they even supply it, little banana pins, and you can make your own counterpoise wires, and put this on. Well, I did a little, one better. I bought some Chelligan's counterpoise wires with banana pins that go right in this. These are the ones from the um, from the the 750. Uh, antenna that they sell so one more issue though when i did this and took the spike out put it on one thing i noticed once you spin this thing on the m10 you can't get this on it i think okay so that's not going to work well i thought of another idea because i had some more of these i had another one of these i'll put the antenna on this use this and i made a jumper wire to go across out of this little um pieces here so there you go that's going to be the upgrade to the jpc 12. now i am at fort get jetty fort a uh, getty fort i should say g-e-t-t-y fort getty uh, this is in on jamestown island this used to be part of the coastal protection uh from like 1899 till the end of world war ii this was a a garrison per se or a, or a military base now it's just a park I'm here, I'm gonna on just regular green grass, not out on the beach or anything. I'm gonna put this antenna together and see how it performs with the upgraded mods that I'm gonna do to the JPC-12. Stick around. Okay, here's our setup. Got my uh, nice beach chair there, the blue bucket. The Zygu G90 and my 10 amp hour LiPo 4 battery. About 30 feet of coax. Let's go take a look at the antenna here. So there it is installed. As you can see, I've got the, uh, the new base at the bottom. I've got the jumper over to the wheel there. That'll hold 12 counterpoise wires. And I have 12. I only put four in because when I put them in, I did notice that um, they, the banana, the clips themselves are a little too small. They'll pop back out. They, they don't hold well. This here, I might just build some real ones. The ones that go with it, these are bigger plugs. But um, yeah, but there, there again, with the uh, four here on the ground, did use the uh, antenna analyzer. It got pretty good, almost perfect SWR. So there's the antenna, pretty cool. There, uh, we're a picturesque spot here. So you look out over into the Narragansett Bay here from uh, Jamestown Island there. Beautiful, beautiful New England surroundings here at the park at uh, Fort Getty here. So there it is. It's uh, The conditions aren't the best today, to be honest with you. But with the four counterpoise wires down and the antenna up, Let's see if the JPC-12 is improved from when I used it first. And here we go. One thing I didn't mention, we're tuned for the 20 meter band. Let's go do some hunting on the 20 meter band and see what we can find. Four, uh, 
Uh, station, uh, the Kilo 4 station. Kyle on the signal. Yeah, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf. Oscar. K4OGO. Okay, Walter. Yeah, uh, uh, Virginia, Walter, how you doing? Uh, looks like the first contact. Uh, nice to hear you again, Walter. Name here is Mike. Mike Indy Kilo Echo. PTH is uh, Minnesota. Hey there, Mike. Uh, yeah, the name is Walt. I'm actually uh, portable, portable in Rhode Island, out portable 20 watts. Um, you got a great signal. The band is crazy up and down, but uh, you're a solid 5.8 and very good audio. Wow, yeah, you too, Walt. I mean, for 5, which is 20 watts, I got you 5 and 5. Just when you think the band is not in good shape, uh, I think everybody kind of gave up. I mean, it's just not springing back. Maybe it's coming back in better shape as, as time goes on this afternoon, uh, Walter. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the 40, was it, 42 degrees here in Minnesota. It's a nice cool rainy day, kind of lightly rainy as we speak. And, Sunny day here, but a little windy. It's about 60 degrees here in Rhode Island. So uh, a beautiful day, a beautiful afternoon. And I'm like I said, I'm out portable near the uh, Narragansett Bay. I'm up on a hill at a park. It's not a Poda Park, though. Just a, a, a used to be a fort, an old naval fort. So I'm just sitting out here with a JPC 12 antenna stuck in the ground and uh, playing with my G90, having some fun. Well, it's doing a fine job, fantastic for 20 watts, so I do have... The well, 20 meter band is a mess. I mean, the noise level is like S8. It's crazy. Uh, not very good conditions. I've tuned it for 40 now. Let's see if I can find anybody and maybe make a contact on the 40 meter band. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yeah, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay, got you down. Well, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. 3x3, 3x3, Delaware. Well, that and that new bottom base, uh, feet point, did the trick for my JPC-12. So now I'm going to keep that with it, pack it up, and keep using it. Today, the conditions are just horrendous, and I still made some decent contacts there. So I'm, I'm pleased with it. Um, the counterpoint system... I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might just um, build some new wires for that to build on that because the JPC, or I should say the uh, the seven MC750 uh, counterpoise wires that I got, too small. They're sliding in there. I just had them uh, kind of halfway hanging in there. So not, not all that great, but uh, all in all, even on a windy day with bad conditions, how cool is this? I, I'm happy that I've got the JPC12 now finally. It took two years, but I got it working the way I want it to work, so I'll get back out with it some more. I'll put a link to uh, what I can. The bottom base, the little silver part, it's, I, I went back to look at it. It wasn't available anymore. I don't know what's going on. I got it off of AliExpress, although I've seen them on, um, on eBay. So I'll check eBay and see if I could find uh, one similar to it there. I've seen them there before. Uh, Chalagans for the... Uh, the, the little black disc in the in the counterpoise wires. I really think I'm going to just use those on the uh, JPC 750 and do it right, and uh, and and maybe uh, set me up a good set of wires for that, or maybe just like I said with the jumper that I used there, use it as well. Uh, you know, with, with some other antennas, it doesn't have to be this. I could put a tape a wire on a pole and and use that as my counterpoise system and uh and have some fun with it as well but anyway great day out here a little windy and um i'm getting hungry i want to go get something to eat let's go okay i'm across the bridge here in newport rhode island today i'm gonna do something a little different i'm going to go have a couple hot dogs here at wally's wieners this place i've kind of wanted to check it out man i love me a couple of good hot dogs i have been known to uh Eat a couple hot dogs at 2 in the morning on Frenchman Street in New Orleans after a little bit of a run ashore in the French Quarter. So uh, this is my kind of place. Let's go check it out. All right, cool vibe, really cool vibe. I'm going to sit at the bar, and yes, I may even have a uh, local Narragansett lager there. So let's check out the menu. All right, Narragansett beer, local beer there, hi neighbor. <laughs> I am going to have the uh, the local there, the Wally. I'm going to have a couple Wallies and some fries, see how good this is. And here we go, 
to Wally, Wally Dog, Wally Wieners, the Wally's. That is um, bacon, peppers, onions, and Wally sauce. And I got some fries as well. Let's try this out, see how good they are. Oh, my goodness. Bacon on a hot dog. Who knew? Who knew? This is delicious, guys. I'm enjoying it so much. It's a great hot dog. Wow, that was great. Man, I love me a good hot dog. And those, man, who knew bacon and peppers and uh, whatever on a dog would be that great? That place reminds me of a place I like to go to in New Orleans called Dat Dog, kind of a gourmet hot hot dog place. And, uh, man, that was good. Really good lunch. Uh, this piece right here, I, I said it um, uh, earlier, um, I'll, I'll try to find a link to one. I, I have seen them, not on AliExpress anymore, but on eBay. But great. It, I love it, man. It, it feels good heavy and uh, it worked it worked well today it really did um well the disappointment is not this per se the fact that um, i've got to go make my wires is that i actually bought uh enough for 12 of these but as i was saying it's just the hole and uh the this banana plug it it doesn't snap this is smaller than this so um these were made for the mc750 or the ma 12 i think it is whatever that antenna which has a smaller it's kind of it's amazing that they would use smaller uh, or they would make this with uh, uh, larger holes for banana plugs for that but um i've got some of these now i got extra ones maybe um uh, maybe i'll just i'll just use these on the other antennas and build some wires for this because i don't really think this thing is cool it really is metal you know put it on there and uh and rock and roll. What I'll probably do is go back to the old um, ribbon wire with the uh, with this base because now I got some contact down there. I know I do for sure, and uh, we'll make it happen that way. But well, great day out. I mean, conditions were horrible, but um, it proved to me, even through as bad as things were, um, that that the antenna worked as well as it did. So I'm happy with it. So. Just walked around Newport and uh, I actually went to a surf shop and checked out a few things. I had to walk that beer off before I came rolling down the road there. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, great afternoon, great day. I really enjoyed it. If you enjoy ham radio, especially portable ham radio and just trying out antennas, equipment, different rigs, QRP, power, whatever you want to say. Just if you enjoy ham radio, voice type ham radio as much as I do. Please like and subscribe. That's what this channel is all about. Until next time, I'm Salty Walt. Stay salty, my friends.